Hi, this is Daryl Webster, and today we're going to look at the online archive mailbox and how we can make better use of it with the Outlook Quick Step. But first of all, we'll take a look at an overview of the online archive and what's available with the different exchange plans. So both plans, plans one and two, have 50 gigs of storage for their mailbox. That's up from 25 gigs earlier in the year. And if you look at exchange plan one, we're just going to just look at this uh, red outline so that represents the 50 gigs of storage when you activate your online archive mailbox it's called in place because it uses the storage that's available to you in the 50 gigs of plan so when you transfer items to the in place archive the archive will grow and that will leave less space for the main mailbox that may be sufficient for some, and to be honest, I'd find it hard pressed to use up 50 gigs of mail anyway. But um, that's one consideration when using Exchange Plan 1. Exchange Plan 2, which uh, comes with all the enterprise plans, um, uses an entirely separate mailbox for its online archive. So in this case, if you're moving uh, mail from your main mailbox, so that in this sense, the green mailbox is 50 gigs worth, and if you're moving it to the online archive uh, this apparently just grows there hasn't been any mention of buying additional storage for the online archive so you can continue to archive to your heart's content and, and keep as much as you want so that's the main two differences between the exchange plans back to the question of how to make use of this online archive well traditionally some people like to run their inbox is an in-tray and they like to process items and once they've processed them then they move them out of the inbox and they like to keep it nice and clear. Um, the flow on effect of that is that people who don't want to delete certain items or don't want to uh, lose them will, will uh, use the delete button and transfer the item just to deleted items and never delete the item at all. Um, so what I'm going to try and show you how to do is um, a more convenient way of shifting that mail to the online archive so that you can process it in the same way but you're not filling up your deleted items. So if we go back over to Outlook and you'll see uh, deleted items. If I was uh, you know, really worried about that then I would uh, just keep all those items there. I should do a bit of a clean out there anyway. But if there were items that I wanted to move to my online archive, how do I do that? Well, the online archive uh, appears as an additional mailbox here in the um, tree of the mailboxes that I have, or the accounts that I'm connected. And it's appended with the um, email address that shows that it's associated with my Office 365 account for the webster.net.nz domain. And what we're going to do is have a look at how to create that quick step to make use of the online archive. If your IT professionals or IT administrators haven't enabled this, uh, there is some article um, uh, references uh, at the bottom of this blog post to be able to find out how to activate the online archive. So we're making that assumption, it is activated. Now we're going to create a new quick step and within the home tab the quick steps are over here and we're going to create a new one move to folder so I'm going to call this one processed and I'm going to add an archive just so or even the words archive or a something to differentiate that that rule or that folder so that it's easy to find and I'm going to choose a folder and in this case the folder doesn't exist yet so I'm going to create the folder within my archive now notice I'm choosing the online archive and I've got that highlighted and I'm going to create a new folder here and I'll call the new folder processed in archive Now that I've created that folder, it's selected, and I click OK to tell the rule that it's going to move items to that folder. 
Now I'm going to choose a couple of options here just to make it a bit easier to use. So when I mentioned that people who um, like to use deleted items as their archive, they um, find that convenient because they can simply click the delete button and the item's gone from the inbox. So what we want to do is make it a bit easier for people to do that. Now I know that it's three keystrokes, but it is still a shortcut key. And I find that the easiest way to do this if I'm processing messages to put into the archive, I just use my left hand and use the thumb and, and one of my fingers to hold down the control and shift. And then I can just press the three as I need to process them. Uh, I'm going to put some text in there to say moves item to processed. And that tooltip's going to appear later on, I'll show you shortly. So we've got that rule, we've got a shortcut key, and we've got a tooltip. And now, if I wanted to move this item, I can either choose from the quick tasks, and notice that the quick tip or tooltip comes up, says move items to processed in archive folder. And as I press that, that's moved to the archive. Um, the shortcut key which I assign was control shift 3 just trust me I'm pressing the right keys I press those keys and the item goes now where are those items let's have a look back in all folders we're going to go look into the online archive we now have a processed in the archive folder as we move over there we now got the two items within the online archive now you don't have to do it item by item, if you wanted to go nuts and archive a whole lot of messages, perhaps you're trying to do that before Christmas because your um, IT admin has said, I'm going to be moving your mailboxes so get onto it, then um, this is what you could do. And note here, just in the bottom corner, the online archive starts off with 100 gigs of, of space and that will grow as required. So that's the quick step to uh, make your online archive a bit more user friendly to be able to get your messages in there. You can create different quick tasks and rules to, to put them into different folders or you can uh, adjust that quick task to ask you each time where to put that message within the online archive. So I hope this has made it easier and thanks for watching.